Features of the TR300 Sand Pup Spray Trailer. This is the TR300 Sand Pup Spray Trailer, and 300 designates the gallon capacity. It's a hand agitated tank with the uh, Sand Pup Sprayer. And uh, right up here on the tongue, uh, because the machine has electric brakes, there's an uh, electric brake uh, uh, safety control here. Uh, this has a battery in it, and so if the machine would ever come unhooked from your truck, uh, this activates and stops the uh, machine in its uh, tracks. Here we have the uh, Sand Pup Sprayer. Uh, this is a 5.5 horsepower Honda engine. Uh, it's running an air compressor with an air diaphragm pump. Our controls for the engine are over here. We have an on-off switch, a pull starter. This is an automatic throttle, a choke, and a fuel shutoff. Now, when you're done for the day, you want to get in the habit of shutting this off. That keeps uh, the gasoline from ever getting down into the engine oil and mixing with that. This is our hand crank for our agitation. Uh, this has a two to one sprocket reduction. Makes it uh, uh, easy to turn. This valve down here is our main shutoff valve. Uh, we would open that to allow product to flow into our pumping system. On our lid assembly, uh, it is lockable and we also have a vent. Uh, that way you do not have to open the lid whenever you're applying product. Uh, the vent uh, allows you to uh, do that, uh, but the vent does need to be checked weekly for uh, possible plugging. In the back here we have our hose reel with 75 feet of spray hose. And then down at the bottom of the tank we have a nether valve and this would be used to empty the tank or possibly fill a bucket for when you need to do edging. Our handheld spray wand is uh, locked into this convenient holder for travel purposes. This machine also has water storage, 14 gallons, for flushing out the uh, pumping system. This is a one inch air diaphragm pump. Uh, to start up uh, the unit, this lever here needs to be brought up to the vertical position and then go ahead and start the engine. Uh, this takes the compressor out, makes it easier to start the engine. So once the engine is warmed up, then you go back and you flip that lever down. The compressor will start to produce air and fill up the twin air tanks. Once the engine speed has dropped to idle, it is then time to open up the pump controls and we can start spraying. Located here is our uh, pump on off control. This is open, this is closed. This is a pressure regulator. We have a gauge showing us what our regulated air pressure is. Uh, now this is preset at 80 PSI and 80 PSI is typically enough that when the wand, you're spraying out the wand, the wand actually wants to raise on its own. You don't have to hold it up. It, it will stay right there. This is the basket strainer for the product. This is located on the suction side of the pump. Uh, these two valves are connected to our water tank. This is used for when we want to run water through the system, flush out the strainer, the pump, and send the water down to our, through our 75-foot holes and then out the spray wand. To do that, we would close the main tank valve, which is located up front here and then open this valve and turn on the pump. It will automatically draw the water out and send it down through the hose in the wand. Hey, when your season has ended, it's time to uh, winterize the unit, um, get the system protected. Uh, there's, I would purchase some RV antifreeze, and there's two ways to put it in the tank. Uh, we can either remove the lid of the basket strainer and put it in there, or just pour it into the tank and uh, open, making sure the uh, main valve is open, turn on the pump, and the pump will bring it out of the tank, through the system, send it down through the hose and wand. Uh, that, way you're, uh, that way you're sure that it's completely protected. And then with the water tank, 
disconnect the hose coming out of the tank and let that uh, drain completely and you'll, you'll be fully protected.